Hey, how's it going, you puffy palpitoads? Today I'm coming at you with some Zorark Lucario Lycanroc standard gameplay. Uh, this is the list that uh, me and the gang played at uh, Collinsville Regionals, and I don't think much has changed for that. I think I would play it just about the same as we played it over there. Um, not a whole lot has changed. Uh, things we changed a little bit from Stefan's list, um, which is where the deck originated from, was we added a counter game, which I found to be super helpful personally in Collinsville. I used this card a whole ton. Um, went down to one choice band, uh, and we added in the Grimer over the Absol, and we played the Orangaroo as well, which isn't super essential to play, but if you want to be able to beat those pesky stall or control decks, uh, the Orangaroo helps out a lot. Um, so that's all I got to say on the list, let's go ahead and uh, get into some games. Into the first game here, pretty solid start, not too much to complain about. Um, got that Lele for the Lily, Ultra Ball for Zerua probably, maybe actually a Rock Rough is what we're going for here. And then Ultra Ball for Lele, <clears throat> or Ultra Ball or Lele for whatever it's called. We're playing against the Gyarados deck, um, so this matchup is actually pretty rough. <laughs> this is actually a pretty rough matchup. All right, here we go. Zorak in hand is not bad. Lucario in hand is also not bad, but not great. Yeah, so this matchup is actually rough. This is actually a rough matchup. All right, um, we need to start taking knockouts ASAP. We can do so with Lucario, and then they might whiff the knockout. We can get another knockout there. So that's going to be the initial plan. And then I think Ultra Ball away, Guzma and Zorak. Going to grab a Zerua here. And then we'll pop out in the Guzma, Lele for Lily. Lele for Lily. Looking just for more basic Zeruas, really. All we want is Zeruas. Zeruas, three Zerua. How many nest balls are in here? Four nest balls. We just want Zerua's nest balls, and then something to do on our next turn. And that's all we're looking for. Not asking for too much. Nothing to do on the next turn, though. That's a little scary. Gonna go ahead and nest ball. I think we should grab. It's either Ditto or a second Riolu. We do have the stretcher for Azor, so we're not completely dead in the water. Setting up Muck doesn't really do anything, so we could just grab a Zerua here. I think that might be the move I go for. No, I'd definitely grab the Ditto. It's Ditto or Z uh, Riolu. I think we grab the Ditto here. Yeah, I'm down for it. Let's get the Ditto here. And then pass over to our opponent. Yeah, so the, this Gyarados deck is actually pretty tough for Zorark to beat. Uh, they just set up like three or four Gyaradoses early on, and we don't really have a way to one-shot them. That's like the, the big problem here is we can't actually one-shot a Gyarados. We just can't do it. The deck does not allow us to do it. It's not how the deck works. Uh, and they're gonna get off an early beacon here. Uh, we don't wanna let them get off too many beacons, so we're definitely just gonna take care of this uh, Vulpix and then uh, go from there. There, there are the Gyarados. And it's really just gonna come down to how much damage they do early on. Is gonna be a big part of it. Um, gonna have to go with the Zorak here. Uh, Nest Ball, I think I will grab another Riolu now and then we're gonna go ahead and trade away the muck um i guess i could have got it with the brooklet but i'd rather than the nest ball out of my hand yeah so if i draw into a um a lily or something like that just like that um we can play down a couple cards and then lily for an extra card because we don't have that nest ball in our hand anymore i was like debating i was like hmm did i really want to play it that way all right or a strike knock out the vulpix get a prize card now all we're hoping for is that they don't knock us out on their turn we just don't want to be knocked out i don't want them to knock out our lucario just want to chill um they need uh, they need one water for a second i thought it took no water to attack but it does take the one water to be able to attack um yeah so we're just hoping they whiff uh with the one shot we're able to respond with our gx attack um and kind of snowball the game from there here we go here's the distilled water three perfect that's not a knockout Get that garbage out of here. Awesome. There we go. Then we can go ahead and trade the field blower. Actually, we can trade the choice band. I don't think we need that in this matchup. Definitely want to replace our stadium. Hold up. Gonna go in first with the Pokecom. Get rid of Rockruff here. Gonna get another Zork. I actually don't know if I want to replace their stadium. Well, I don't really want to have to find more magic carps through Brooklyn Hill. But I think they forgot to do last turn. Um, trade away this. And then we are gonna GX, but I don't know if I want them to be able to get water energy. Ah, they're gonna get water energy into the hand anyways. Yeah, this is fine. We can give them this. I don't think that really matters. 
Um, could come away this guy now. Get another Zork. Um, I don't think we played a supporter yet, but we do just want to take this one shot, I feel like, while we can. Um, trade away. Oh, no, did we play a supporter yet? I don't think so, actually. Let me see. No, we haven't. So we could ace a roll of this Lucario. Um, early on, it's going to be more effective. Yeah, I think we should go with the ace roll play here, just because early on, it's more likely that they're not going to get the one shot. Um... Go ahead and hit this one with a Zork, I think. Yeah. And then match another Riolu. I'll touch a fighting. Why not? Then right is beating. They'll probably whiff the one shot here. Then we can retreat to the Lucario again. Um, take out this Gyarados with the Lucario. Hope they whiff the one shot there. And then one shot another Gyarados um, with the GX attack on the Lucario. That's going to be our game plan then. Yeah, I like that. I like that setup a little bit better. We kind of have to play around their numbers. Um, the numbers that they can hit. Um, so I think that works uh, best. There we go. Five. Not quite enough, right? Yep, 180. Um, we're hoping for another whiff here on this next one as we send up the Lucario again. Going to go ahead and could dig for the... Um... We already played our stretcher. Could dig for an answer roll, but oh, we're down pal pad. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and play the... No, I think we will just keep trading here. Trade away Cynthia. Don't want to trade away the counter gain yet, because it's definitely possible we can utilize that. Trade away a Pokecom. Trade away another Pokecom, I think. Yeah, goodbye Pokecoms. And, yeah. Evolve Retreat. Take this knockout. Hope they don't get the one shot on this guy now. Um, thinking if I want to attach this anywhere. Could even attach to the active actually. Um, no, I think we're just gonna aura strike. Yeah, aura strike for the knockout. See what they come up with on their turn. Like I said, the play is that they hopefully hit into us, don't one shot us, and then we're able to take the one shot with the GX attack. And at this point, it looks like that might be enough to clean up this game. Yeah, this matchup. I think I said. I think it's. I think it's pretty unfavored personally, but. They got the Elms, Carpenter did us. So we got two more um, pokes to deal with. Um, we're definitely gonna, if they don't get the one shot here, which we're hoping they don't, that's five, that's not the one shot. We're actually gonna go chase down the Magikarp and the Ditto first. If we can find a DCE, which it shouldn't be too hard to find. We don't have that big of a deck left. Um, we've only used one yet. So we're gonna find a DCE, we're gonna Guzma, knock out one of those guys off the bench. There we go. Keep going through the deck. Um, and then we're going to save the GX attack because we want to catch those guys before they can potentially evolve. They could both potentially evolve. We can pot potentially even catch both of them before they evolve. Um, so that's what we're looking to do. We don't want these things to be able to evolve before we potentially knock them out. So DCE, and then I'm going to Guzma knock out. Um, I don't think it matters. We could potentially somehow end up with a muck and play though. So I guess we should leave the Ditto alive. Yeah, and then we're saving this GX attack so we can GX one shot the Gyarados. That's uh, that's the plan. Um, I don't think they play Guzma usually. They don't really have any way to find or use Guzma, so I don't think they play Guzma. And we're gonna try and do the same thing next turn. We have one Guzma left, I believe. Yeah, one Guzma left. We're gonna look to Guzma knock out this Ditto. There's six. That is the knockout. Uh, I still want to Guzma knock out that Ditto though. So we're gonna send up the Lucario, and if we whiff, we can just GX attack with Lucario. That's fine. Um, but we're looking for the Guzma play for sure here. Guzma knock out Ditto. Um, start with some trades. Don't think we're ever using a Rangaroo. Oh, I guess, do I have a Fighting Energy left? There's, DC, as we draw DC Guzma. I do have a Fighting Energy left, so I should go ahead and do this. Thin out the Fighting Energy. I should have thinned that out uh, a little bit ago, actually. That's a mistake. We're gonna bench a Rock Rough now. There's the concede from our opponent, yeah. We were gonna be able to get the Guzma knockout on the benched Magikarp, and then we we're just going to GX and knock out the Gyarados with our Lucario, and then we'd be able to win the game from there. So generally a tough matchup, but we we're able to maneuver it pretty handily there. They didn't get any early one-shots, which are really the big swing turns. If they just get, like, a turn two one-shot on, like, our Lucario or a Zork, it kind of snowballs out of control. But not today, and we managed to take that one uh, pretty handily, pretty handily. Second in this game here, but our start is solid, so not too much to complain about. Um, open up as a rule. We got Ultra Ball to get another poke. Um... Or two, could Ultra Ball away, Tapu Lele, and a Rangaroo, and then Ultra Ball away. Our top deck plus Stretcher, depending on what we're playing against. Zork, Mirror, 
All right, it's been a while since I've seen one of these, so I think we want to keep the stretcher and probably the Lele. So it's probably gonna be Ultra Ball Orangaroo and Ultra Ball and then Lily for six. Probably just gonna be looking for, uh, well, it depends. I mean, it's kind of, we'll have to see what kind of Zorak our opponent is playing. It's a little bit risky to like put a Rockruff down with an energy when you go second in the Zorak mirror. Uh, they already got like a pretty solid start going on here with triple basic Pokemon, uh, especially in the mirror. That's pretty much all you need. There's a Calm, so we'll really get to see what our opponent is playing around with here. There's a Rock Ruff, so it's at least Zoro Rock. Um, could have Weavile. Could still have uh, Lucario as well. We don't know for sure. At the very least, it's Zoro Rock. All right. Uh, Drew into a Choice Band. Ugh, I just. So many of these cards I don't want. I was hoping for some Pokemon top deck. Let me get rid of both those. Grab. I think we're going to grab Lucario, and then we're going to Ultra Ball, and we're going to grab a. Ditto as well. I'm gonna go ahead and have to get rid of our only choice band here and our stretcher. So we all, we're living off of what's left in the deck. No way to get any of that back as a Rangaroo is also gone. We're gonna grab Riolu. We're gonna get this Ditto as well. Lily for eight cards here. Really want to see some Zeruas. Okay, there we go. Mask and you shall receive. Just gonna go ahead and grab two Zeruas here. Be aggressive about the Zorks. We have everything else set up ready to go. Not going to risk putting the energy in play because our opponent does have the Rock Ruff and Sarua set up. So if they just have Zork DCE knockout, it would not be pleasant. Don't want to waste it there. Um, yeah. We'll see what our opponent's got. The Choice Man's coming down on the Zarua. Not really a huge factor. And then Cynthia. Um, so they need to draw a little bit here. We might be in a fine spot. Um, to kind of start snowballing. So we do have the Guzma DCE. So if they don't get a knockout here, that'd be great for us. Um, of course, if I had the bet, I'd say they're going to be able to get a knockout here. Um, okay, so it is Lucario as well. So it's the whole squad, just like us. Um, I would definitely like to go chase that Rockruff if I get a choice on my next turn. Both Lucario's hitting the discard pile for our opponent. So, I mean, they probably run a stretcher, but they have to find it still. So... There's another Zork. Trade for two more. Did they hit the DCE? Who knows? Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, even if we could actually get our own muck and cut off there. Okay, there's a Riolu. So we're gonna chase the Riolu now here for sure. Oh, but they have the Viridian Force as well. But they have both their uh, Lucarios in the discard pile. So we'll see where they put this fighting energy. I assume it's gonna be on the Rock Rock. And we're just gonna have to go ahead and chase the rock rough here this turn we have to bite the bullet if they have the lucario play as a response um uh, start with a trade here i would i could viridian force away one of those but i kind of want to keep one in hand to draw more cards potentially with um i'm gonna go ahead and viridian forest away my own viridian force to grab a fighting energy though keep that counter gain safe and quiet um attach here and then it's gonna be a guzma knock out this rock rough with our zorark all right, in a pretty decent spot here. No complaints yet. Got rid of that energy. Uh, Lucario could potentially become a problem this next turn, but they do have both in the discard pile, so they will have to find their stretcher, their one of stretcher, or Mallow would also work for them if they just Mallow into the combo. That is also possible. They're gonna start off with a Lily for five, so it's gonna have to be trade into the stretcher for our opponent. Little risky, but uh, who knows, might work out. We'll see here in just a second. Yeah, a little risky play there. A little bit of a risky play there for my opponent, I feel like. Um, not sure how I feel about that one. There's a Nest Ball. They used one trade so far. Getting the energy is definitely not a problem for them. Gonna go ahead and grab another Riolu. Maybe they're playing a thicker Riolu. No, it's probably just a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, if I had to imagine, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. I'm very risky with this Lucario play, though, I feel like. Um, they need a lot to kind of pull this one off and make this work. There's a third Zork. They're digging deep on this one. They're kind of all in on hitting this Lucario. If they don't, we're going to be in a great spot. We'll see what happens. I don't think they got it. Um, down to be proven wrong, though. Prove me wrong. And I think we'll just go for a Guzma Lucario knockout on the Zork, making it more awkward for our opponent. Yeah, they're going to go with the Detect here, I think. Heads here means we're definitely going for the Guzma play. All right, we're definitely going for the Guzma play. Um... I definitely want to see some more Zoroks. I think that's the number one thing I want to see. Um, I might just go ahead and trade away this Fuel Blower. 
So we could go Viridian Forest, away the Lele, or Lily, grab an energy, and then trade away Field Blower. I don't think I'm going to need it this game. Trade away the Field Blower, and then we're going to go for the Guzma, bring up Zork. But I'd rather see Zork than Guzma. No Zorks yet. All right, so it's going to be attach to Riolu, evolve into Lucario, and then we have the Guzma up on one of our opponent's Zorks. So we may as well take out the one with the Choice Band. And I think we will pa just pal pad for two Guzmas here. Guzma, Guzma. And this makes it kind of awkward for our opponent to do anything on their turn. Uh, but we'll see. They might have some stuff up their sleeves. Um, they would need, like, Lucario plus Guzma. Um, they have that play. That'd be annoying. Them going Lucario, hitting our Lucario, we're not really scared of. Um, yeah, so we'll see what our opponent has in store for us on their turn. They're pushing up a Zorark. So that's definitely the play they should be looking for. I would assume that's the play they want to look for, is the knockout of our... Zorark on our bench, which would be pretty annoying for us, not gonna lie. Um, that's pretty tough to deal with. They do need to, like I said, they do need to find that stretcher, though. They have to find the stretcher. That's the first step. Or Mallow Winter Stretcher also works. They, yeah, they really all in on the on the Riolus early on. I definitely wasn't a huge fan of that play from our opponent. I think that really kind of like, just like made it really awkward for them to potentially do anything. Um, they're setting up this Zorark here. And then Guzma on a ditto. So we're going to be able to lock up this game on this next turn. I think we're going to go ahead and attach. Well, not 100%. Well, let's see. What do we want to do here? We can't knock out the Zorark. I think we're going to end up going with Guzma and knock out this Riolu with this Zorark. With a Guzma from Lele. Um, start with a trade here. Am um, I comfortable trading away one of the Lycan Rocks? I think I am. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and trade away one of the Lycan Rocks here. I'd rather draw into the Guzma. All right, preferably draw into the Guzma. I'm gonna Nest Ball, grab a Rock Ruff. I'm going to Wonder Tag for the Guzma. We are gonna do Guzma knock out this Riolu. Um, I'm then gonna attach to the Lucario. They currently don't have any way to deal with uh, my Lucario. Oh, I guess we could have done this as well. Viridian Force away that. Well, my hand was like thinking I might Ultra Ball, but I didn't want to want to Ultra Ball with how it developed. So now that was actually fine in the end. Yeah. Guzma, gonna knock out the Riolu with the energy. And now we're in a spot where Lucario can just take out his Zorak for us to win the game. And I think we pretty much have this one locked up. The one play they could make. It's kind of. How have we only had one Zorak this whole time? We still have two Zoraks in deck. A bunch of comps. And yeah, our opponent scoops there in the end. We pretty much had that one locked up at that point. There wasn't really anything for them to do. Uh, they really had no compact potential at all uh, in that mirror match there. It actually is one of my favorite mirror matches in the current format. It's just Zorak mirror matches in general. I love I love navigating the Zorak mirror matches. All right, guys. That's going to go ahead and do it for this video with the Lucario Zorak Lycanroc deck. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think this is probably the best way to play uh, Zorak if you want to be able to beat Pikaram. If you don't care as much about beating beating Pikaram, then Zoro Rock slash Zoro Rock Wave is a better way way to go. But if you're like, well, I want to be able to beat Pikaram today, put the Lucarios in. It really is the only way to like really solidify that matchup. I feel like without without the Lucarios, the matchup gets super sketchy against Pikaram. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out my live stream over on Twitch and my social media links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and peace.